What's up everybody, Prefix Wiz bringing you another Unity tutorial. Today we're going to talk about C-sharp coding and how to access scripts on other game objects. And we're bringing it to you right now. Double digit <laughs> Unity C-sharp and how to access scripts on other game objects. Let's go ahead and open up Unity. And as you can see here, I have a simple scene set up for uh, two cubes. Two game objects object number one here object number two here and i have two scripts set up script number one and script number two now script number one is on object number one down here and script number two is on object number two so let's go ahead and open up script number two so we can just see what it is real quick it's just a basic class called script two and it has one public int variable okay so we're on script number one and we want to access script number two that's Script number one is on game object one, and script number two is on game object two. So how do we do that? There are a lot of ways to do it, but we're only going to go over a couple of them here today. Okay, so the first way we're going to show you is the long way. Set a variable. It doesn't. It can be public or private. We're looking for a game object. Well, we're going to call it object. So once we have the reference of the game object, we found the game object using tag. Now you can use name. You can use type. You can use. There's many ways to find a game object. But let's find it using a tag. And the tag is named object2. So if we go over here to object2 and we look at the tag, the tag is called object2. But once we find it, then we go down here to avoid start. Okay, now in the start section, you could put this in the await function as well. But in the start function, we went ahead and said, hey, object, now that we know who you are, I want you to find script number two. And once you find script number two, more specifically, I want to access that variable that you have, that public variable. So if we go over here to script two, notice we have that public variable called increase script two number, and that's all we did. So we got the object and then change it. So if we were to hit play, we have now changed it, and you can see over here on object number two in that public variable that it has changed from zero to two. So we have successfully accessed script two, which is on game object two, from script one which is on game object one. Now another way to do it is to do it the medium way and that's to actually add a public variable. The variable itself is the script so you put the exact script name as the variable and then name it. So we're going to name it second script that way we can access it. Okay so we come down here to the start function and we just say hey second script the name of this script that we're accessing. I want you to access that public variable that you have and increase it by two. Now, the most important thing about this is because we have a public variable here and we're not referencing that object in any other way, we have to grab object two or whatever object that script is on and drag it in there. You can grab any object in the entire scene and try to put it in there. It's not going to go because what this public variable is looking for is the script name itself. And because that script name is not on any of these other game objects, it's only on game object 2 we're then able to place it in this public variable in the inspector okay so once that's taken care of everything is done it now has a reference to that script and in the start method it's going to grab that public variable and change it to 2 so if we go back over here to script number 2 you're going to see increase script 2 was no longer 0 it is 2 because we're accessing again from object 1 through a public variable to access 2 and then manipulate that variable and then there's the short way. Now in the short way, we're going to have to do two things. We're going to have to go back into script two and change public int and the variable name to public static int in the variable name. Okay, so in the start function, all we're doing is printing what this variable number is going to be. Save that and go back into script one. And now when we access that variable, we're going to access it by calling this, the class that that variable is under. So it was script2. That's the actual name of the class, script2. And then the variable itself, because it's now a static member, we can reach it directly. And then we can just increase it by 2. So let's hit save. Let's go back into Unity. Let's push play. And we should see down here in the console that it prints 2. Hey, thank you guys very much. This is the basics on how you access a script from another object. Again, these are just the basics. There's many ways to do it. If you have other ways to do it, go ahead and put that down in the description below. Help out the community. Let everybody else know. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And in either case, don't forget to subscribe.